Good morning, friends of the internet. We are back again in the world of tanks, spooky ass garage. And today, speaking of spooky, we are going to take this spooky beast out. I love my E75, my second most played tank. One of the best tanks to me, tier for tier in the game. I just love this tank. I love the armor. I love its mobility. I love the rate of fire. I love that it can bounce rounds. I mean, there's not a lot that I can say about this tank that I dislike. As long as I get into a fight that I put myself into a situation where I can handle like side scraping or whatever, I'm going to win. I love this tank. Great little health pool. So with that being said, let's take this beast out. All right, guys, let's see what we got to deal with here. STI, Patton, E1, T30. I mean, we're top tier here, so this shouldn't be too bad for us. Um, yeah, this shouldn't be too bad at all. No artillery. I'll take that. That's always a plus. Uh, that way I can work my little spot over here I like. There's a little spot that I like to work that's kind of like right over here in the middle. And there's a debris pile that's just like high enough to cover you, but... If you have a real good artillery player, they'll, like, knock you out of that spot. So without artillery, this should put us in a pretty good position. So let's just hope we have some team support. I don't like uh, I don't like being top tier sometimes in this tank because there's a lot put on your shoulders to try to, you know, pull off the win. Um, so let's hope that our team doesn't just run out and get themselves killed. Hopefully, you know, we have some competent players on our team today. And uh, we can get this W, boy. I'm, I'm tired of getting these high-level wins, but or these high-level points, but I always end up losing. Oh, 249. Got to be careful of him if he's got that derp gun. So I'm going to slide right up here. This is where I like to go. There goes our three. He's going to go out there and get pooped on. Back up, pal. Just back up. There's no sense of getting all aggressive right now. Wait until you see some stuff. No, well, he's just going to charge out there. Well, I'm not going to charge out there because I'm detected. My sixth sense is going off, so I hope that three gets himself out of trouble. Let's let's hope he doesn't get in trouble there. Okay, so let's see. I'm kind of waiting to see if I see anything. I'm sixth sense. Oh, there's a T30. That's something he that three better be careful of. Oh, nope. He's going to get hit. Okay. Okay, I got hit by some. Oh, there we go. Yeah, or uh, ram gun. Yeah, take that, pal. That must have been what was seeing us, was that ram gun. We couldn't see him from where we were sitting. Oh, there goes the CDC. Let's hope he doesn't run out and get himself killed. Uh, we might be able to use him for a distraction if he goes after that 30. Because that 30 wants us. You can see him ADSing for us here. Yeah, he, he's wanting us. Um, okay, the ram gun shot. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that ram gun right now. Let's see if I can get a shot into this guy. Nope. Okay, so the CDC is kind of pushed over there as kind of a distraction. So hopefully he's uh, up. There went our three. I knew he was going to just run out there and get crashed. Okay, so this guy's looking at us. Bam, there we go. Saw his hatch, baby. Okay, hopefully uh, that CDC. Oh, there we go. CDC gets a pop on him. That's good. Come on, CDC. Don't stay there in front of him. And there went the CDC. So you gotta, you can't run out there in the middle like this and get yourself to pin. This is why I like trying to stay back and without no artillery, boy, we got a lot of tanks coming our way. A lot of tanks coming our way. Oh, they took out our engine, so I'm gonna go ahead and repair that engine just because uh, I don't want to get caught out where I can't move around because we got a lot of tanks and there's only me and this poor motherland sitting here trying to hold this. We got one medium clear in the back and I don't even know what he is. So we got a lot of trouble going on here. I put a nice shot into the KV-5. Man, I hope this motherland stays alive because if not, I'm going to get flooded here. KV-5 is trying to push on us here. Trying to get an angle on us. And got the 30 staring at me. I got all sorts of problems going on. Come on, 30 or motherland. Please stay alive. Oh, he's doing good. He's staying alive. That's all that matters because we got a lot of tanks here causing us problems. I get a nice shot into the STI. Oh, there's that T-49 with the derp gun. Oh, my God. So I'm just trying to stay moving right here so this KV-5 can't get a nice clean shot on my hatch. Oh, oh, the T-49 doesn't have the derp. So we're in good shape. We don't have to worry. We don't have to stress too much about him derping us. Okay, that's good. The motherland's holding his own, thank God. If they, he can just stay alive a little bit longer. Oh, he cleared off one tank. Sweet. Way to go, pal. 
So the motherland's doing his point. He's doing a pretty good point over there, staying alive. So I'm pretty happy with this guy. I gotta watch that KV-5 because it looks like he may be trying to run around and flank us, and we gotta be careful. We still got that ram gun up on the hill that we gotta deal with. He takes a shot with Devaway's position. I, I didn't zoom in fast enough there to get a shot. Ooh, Motherland took a big hit. Oh, and now we got this this guy moving up too with his little derpy gun. Okay, we're kind of in a bad way here. Um, we got no support really behind us, um, except these two medium tanks. So that KV-5 is trying to make a push around that one side. Oh, that guy hit me pretty hard. Okay, so I got a hit on him. But I've took a little bit of damage, but we just don't have a lot of help. It looks like our one medium's kind of moving in to kind of watch our back end here a little bit, which is good. But look at all these tanks out here. I don't know what they're doing because they're not in a position to help us, but all our tank destroyers are sitting out in the field. So all this, these people that's in this town, I can't get helped with by the tank destroyers that's sitting in the open field. So we have no support. And I see that I'm getting pushed now by the STI, so i got to turn around and deal with this. So I hope the motherland can hold off the situation a little bit. Let's see if I can get a shot into this STI. I can't let him come up and have my ass. All right, I got a nice shot on him. He's detected. I'm gonna turn my nose really quick so he can't hit me. Oh, he blew off my track, thank God. Okay, so now they're shooting him from across the map. Hopefully they can hit him. So I'm gonna have to draw these guys out to get those guys to be able to support me. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna finish this guy off in his upper plate. Okay, so I don't have to worry about him, and he's kind of blocking the area there a little bit. So I need to turn it around because i seen that my motherland passed away down here, which is no good. So we're in a bad way right now. I'm going to have to literally drag these tanks out so that these tank destroyers can help me because where they're at, they're in no position to help me except if I draw them out. So I can't really push into this town, so I'm just trying to keep eyes on a few things to see where things are at. And hopefully I can drag them out to me. Because right now we're down way too many tanks. I'm about a little over half health. I'm about 60%. So at this point I'm just thinking, I've got to just like, I've got to draw them out somehow. So I see the one coming up behind me. So I'm going to pivot really quick. I'm going to turn, 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 turn. He misses the shot. Thank God, because he had my whole side, which would have really hurt me bad. So I'm going to roll up here. I know he's reloading, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to get a nice shot into his... In turret take them out now there i kind of messed up because i had hit my auto uh my cruise control which kind of auto drive me up onto that cliff so i almost caused myself to be a little bit of problem so the is3 pushes us so i'm going to try to draw him out i get a shot into him oh i just blew off his track so i try to stuff my nose into this rubble pile okay he misses now i'm just waiting to reload right now now at this point, I'm still thinking I've got to draw that guy out, but I'm still being mindful that I got tanks behind me as well. So I'm trying to keep tabs on him to make sure he's not pushing around. But we did have a medium back there that was kind of holding him off a bit. So I see the IS-3. He's pretty weak. He's backing up. He's being passive. I don't got time to be passive. I'm going to push him a little bit here and get a nice shot into him since he's so weak. I leave him with just a sliver of health. So at this point, I'm thinking, why is this IS running so bad? So he blew off my track. So at this point, I'm going to start pushing him a little bit and try to push him back into those guys a little bit. And then all of a sudden, I see the tank destroyer behind me. No, no, no. Oh, my God. He hit me. But I did get the IS-3 in trouble. Now, at this point, the ram gun just thrashed me. So here, I'm just going to try to keep him visible because he made the mistake by being out here, even though he's not detected. I'm just going to go out here and get him lit up. And I'm not going to push him because I can't take the shot. I'm going to let these tank destroyers finish him off. Just like that. Boom, we're done. Now I can turn and face my attention back to the other side of the map here. Okay, we got these threats off here. So I still know that there's still a couple threats that I got to be worried about here. I don't know where the two mediums are. I haven't seen them yet. But I still got this medium and this heavy over here that I have to deal with. And I'm looking at the map trying to decide, like, where would they be at? The one medium in the back of the map is holding this one tank off, which is surprising. I figured that guy wouldn't, that Chinese tank would have pushed him, or that Japanese tank would have pushed him by now. But he hadn't. That Centurion 1 is holding his own. And I'm trying to get him to fall back and draw him out so that these tank destroyers can help us. That's why I told him to fall back. And I'm so weak right now, I really can't do much. Now, I see the medium pop up out there, and it's a 416. So I'm going to see if maybe I can get a shot out here, maybe help this tank destroyer in this heavy that's sitting out here in the open. So I'm going to jump out here really quick. I'm going to see if I can get some shots on him. There's the 46. Now I know the 416's out there too. I'm detected, 
And I gotta be careful because I, I'm pretty much one shot. So I turn around. He doesn't see me. I'm not detected any longer. So I'm waiting. I'm going to go back and try to defend off this this uh, this heavy just pushing. And there come the 416 rounds. So I know he had a, thought he had a shot at me. So he tried to take it. So that was close. We almost died there. So now I'm going to push back over here and deal with these guys. Hopefully they can deal with that medium if that medium comes out. Because I got to try to help this guy over here. So I'm going to go around and see if I can get the flank on it. Since I know the medium's in the field now and I'm not going to get surprised by a side shot that's going to kill me. I see they're dealing with that medium. So I'm like, okay, so they should be able to deal with that. So I'm going to push around and flank this guy since he this, this guy's been sitting here with the Centurion this whole time. So I decide I'm going to go out here, but i got to be very careful that I don't run into that 49 and he doesn't come up and blast me in the butt and kill me. So I'm just kind of waiting. They take care of the medium, so I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push through. I'm slowly looking for this medium. I know he's back here someplace. Or this light. There he is. Boom. Auto-target him. Take him out. Okay. Now his ass ends exposed. But I see him pushing on the map, so I decide to back up, see if I can get a shot on him. I pivot just in case he's trying to take a shot at me. I'm trying to get behind the rubble pile as I'm still being reloaded. I'm zooming in, zooming in, and then I see he's going to go drown his tank. So the Centurion held that guy off that whole time, and now he's just going to go drown his tank. I was really shocked by that, that that guy sat at that corner the whole time and decided his best way out was to drown himself. So let's take a look at our stats. I think we had a fairly decent game there. So overall, it looks like we did 5,408 damage. We blocked 2,090 rounds, and we assisted with 974. We got the high caliber. Um, like, I'll take it. I'll take it. We only killed three tanks, detected two. We did 5,000. Look at our team, though. We flat carried the team pretty much. Wow. Their team didn't have a... The STI was the one that did the most damage in their game. And then the IS-3 had a pretty decent game, too. Um, I never saw the 32 or a couple of the E1. None of that. Uh, we fired 14 rounds. We hit 13. And we penetrated 12. So, overall, great game. Um, you can see that our IS-3 went out there and got himself killed in our CDC. Uh, let's see. 757 into him. Uh, we did 512. We did, you know... 513, uh, 482, the KV-5, we did almost 500. The other one, we did 852. The STI, we did 1,334 to the poor STI, and we did 460 on that IS-3. So, I mean, overall, we we played a pretty good game there. We we got in a lot of, a lot of fights with a lot of people, so I'll take it. A win's a win. We got that W, but definitely we carried our team there. Um, thank God we had those... You know, I saw those guys were out in that field, and I was able to draw out a couple of those tanks. And that uh, that ram gun almost got us, but thank God uh, we had enough health pool left that we actually uh, we we didn't die or he didn't set us on fire because that could have been game over. Or if the 416 would have got lucky and shot us in the butt, so we got lucky. Um, but for the most part, I'll take it. Wins a win. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. That way, you know, when we're posting new YouTube content and when we're live streaming, if you haven't checked us out on Twitch or YouTube gaming, come hang out, be part of the audience. If you're new to those channels, smash those follow buttons over there. So until next time, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, we'll see your faces on the battlefield. Thanks so much, guys, for checking out my video. If you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for future videos.